Welcome to the suburbs of Nairobi, Kenya. I just landed here and a friend gave me a sofa where to stay. The only problem is that it is about it's, uh, one hour away from downtown, where I need to go right now. <laughs> okay, we need to cross the street. For today, I have had some specific instructions, like uh, avoid my tattoos, which are very tiny vans, and uh, instead take a bus. It's much safer for you, Michele, that's what I've been told, but probably it is just that I do not fit in my tattoos. I am way too tall compared to Kenyan standards. Karibu sana to all the Kenyan viewers. I'm back in Kenya and I'm very happy to be here. <laughs> no. Now let's see if uh, we can actually cross. Oh my gosh. It might take a while. Maybe I should find uh, the proper place. I'm not sure if there is one. Okay, okay, okay. Crossing the highway. Normal job. Let's see if I can take that bus. Ambassador. Uh, ambassador. Yeah. Ambassador. Yeah. Only one hundred. Eighty. Eighty. Hundred. <laughs> it's eighty, but okay. One hundred is fine. So. As you can see guys, we got 20 shillings back. Here we go. Okay, we made it back. 500 days later, again my new first day in Kenya. In front of the Kenyan National Archives. I have no idea where I'm gonna take the bus to head back later at night. But uh, in the meantime we are here again. <laughs> Nice. Usually guys, this one is one of my favorite meeting points. Everybody knows it, so it's very easy to meet up in front of it. Over there on the right, I shot a video about getting my shoes cleaned. <laughs> and checking which one of the shoe cleaner was going to be honest with me. And then, once I got the real prize, I'm like, uh, I got to reward him. <laughs> oh, so many memories. I practically know every corner, even if everybody says that this area it's very scary and safe and so on. I know every corner of this place. Let's see. Two years ago, that's where I got my shoes cleaned over there. We left it. Oh, we made it out. <laughs> I think that the main thing that Nairobi needs is a metro line to avoid all this mess. But at the same time, we will lose all the art that is on the Matatus, so uh, I don't know. On YouTube? Chante. Query. Thank you. 
There is a specific artist which makes all the drawings and uh, they told me that he became rich making such designs. Now there are more Santa. Take picture, this one. Where does he go? Kassarani. Kassarani, no, I am near the airport. Where? Uh, near the airport. Okay, we okay. can travel with you. <laughs> there. Uh, you, uh, from uh, where? Italy, Italy. Italy, Italy my favorite. So, Yes. A GoPro. Canavaro. GoPro. Canavaro, right. Oh, have a good day. Yeah, yeah. It's a oh. Yeah. Okay. Here they did save money on the drawings. It's kind of funny. Hey. Books for 100 shillings or 200. Yeah. Boy, how much? <laughs> so, guys, I know very, very well this square. On this side, uh, we do have Engara, which. Uh, most people consider do not say which most people doesn't consider safe but I've been there so many times maybe just uh, do not walk alone at night on this side we have uh, the extended part of CBD and uh, down there there is a place called the Eagle Tower which I usually rent when I want to stay in CBD in this other part that's the more central and modern there are some shops everywhere I'm gonna show you around let's check if anything has changed in the past year and half So this office is one of the most uh, recognizable buildings uh, here in CBD. On the other side, uh, on the right side, we do have a KFC, but... What is more important is that on the left side, we do have a Java House, which is the place where I usually meet one of my best friends. And uh, next to Java House, there is Kilimanjaro restaurant. I tried over there dishes with uh, rice and it's pretty suggested. Just behind Java House, there is a mosque, but... We need to go to the other side and I think there is a shopping mall owned by Somalis, I need to check that. Hello. Hello. That's the mall I was speaking about. On the ground floor there is computer stuff, electronics and so on. On the upper floors they do sell clothes and uh, I think I have a Kenyan subscriber who owns the shop there. Probably you will not recognize me, or probably I will not find the shop, but <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Oh my gosh, don't be so sad. <laughs> I once tried every shirt of his shop, but <laughs> they cannot fit me. It was one of those. Maybe it changed business. I was checking over there, but it's none of these people. I know I'm rushing a bit all over the place, but I need to do a couple of things before sunset. Therefore, today we are just gonna have a quick look all over the place. So, here is something that might have changed, or at least my memory doesn't remember it uh, like this. It wasn't so colorful my last time over here. 
Well, cool. And over here is pedestrians. And look at this tower, amazing. Like, this is one of the most modern parts of the CBD. But some of the most modern buildings uh, here in Nairobi, they are in that direction. Like 10 minutes by car and uh, maybe another day I will show you. That's the road where we came from the bus and we did enter this area and we turned right. Uh, and that's when we got out of the bus. Good. Good. How do you see Nairobi? Good? Yes. I don't ah. need a safari, thank you. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I don't need anything. <laughs> yes. No, not even the car. <laughs> I know, I know it works. Asante, Asante. Yes? Yes, yes. Okay, now you have to walk You want to walk in the direction. Oh, yeah. You want to walk too. <laughs> no, not with me. Okay. Asante. Okay, Karimu. Trattoria is probably the most famous Italian restaurant in town, just next to this tower. Honestly, I've never eaten Flo uh, uh, I've never eaten there because, uh, you know, when I was a successful YouTuber, I had money for an Airbnb and I was cooking myself a pasta and other dishes. Let me talk to him. I don't have... Nowadays, I'm sleeping on sofas, so it's all good. <laughs> And this part of CBD is full of government buildings, but I heard that uh, that thing up there uh, could be worth visiting. Uh, I don't know. It would be worth having a drone too, but... <laughs> so guys, just next to the Supreme Court of Kenya, there is a tiny market, a little line, and I bet that if we get to the other side, it's supposed to be there a cheap restaurant hidden inside the building where workers do it uh, at lunch time. The only problem is that <laughs> might be 6 p.m. right now, 4 p.m. I have no clue. Uh, oops. Huh? So yes, I do think I am in the correct area. There is another Java house here. There is Java house everywhere. I need to find an uh, eco bank uh, where to withdraw money without paying any fee. But in the meantime, uh, let's see if we can eat. I've not been eating for the entire day. Not eating is a way of getting back in shape uh, and losing weight. <laughs> so, uh, here. Almost uh, two years ago, Hidden inside this place, there was a restaurant where workers do come to eat. Oh my gosh, it seems like it's closed. I think it was this one. Oh no, jungle food. Or maybe it moved over here. Beef stew uh, with rice. And uh, do you have mango juice? You don't have, you don't have juice. Right? Okay. Maybe maybe salt. Try salt. Well, what salad do you have? We have coke. We have a uh, fanta. Uh, do you have coke zero? Or no. Just we have zero. okay. A normal. Okay. Well, one soda and one uh, water. And then uh, one uh, water. Yes. So water. Huh? It's soda. So one soda and one water. Two soda. Cold. Uh, coke. 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 Sorry. Cold. 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 There. Yeah. Okay. I think this place expanded. The tables do look the same, but it was a smaller place on the other side. So something has changed and better. Okay. Look, I told you they work with people that work in this area. We do office delivery. <laughs> nice service. 
So we got the beef stew with rice, some spicy peppers, a soup. All for 419. What you're gonna find is that in Kenya beef is tougher than in other countries, but that's just how they do it. For the rest, it's good. Thank you. Next day. See you. So guys, the waiter confirmed it to me. This restaurant was on the opposite door last year or two years ago. And then they moved during COVID. That's what he told me. <laughs> but I was here during COVID, so probably after I left. So guys, I randomly met two subscribers and we had the coffee over here. It was incredible. Like, this woman know everything about my videos. <laughs> they were both so nice. <laughs> I feel so good. I'm so happy to be back in Kenya. I'm almost having wet eyes. It's amazing. Asante sana. Thank you so much. Night is coming. It probably means I should find an ATM tomorrow and I should get my SIM card during the day and make a video about it because it's going to be super interesting and especially I'm going to explain to you how to pay in this country which is completely different from any other country around the planet we'll come back tomorrow and get our sim it's so nice to be welcomed in this country it's so nice to meet so many warm people also at the airport the other day I met a woman that works in the UK and suddenly they made me do the line for Kenyans I skipped the line for foreigners, it was beautiful. <laughs> they did my visa like this, no waiting, incredible. I clearly have no clue which one is going to be my bus. Wish me luck. And uh, that's it for this video, thank you so much for watching at Santa Sana. Keep reading and believing your dreams. Support the channel on PayPal, Patreon, Bitcoin if you can. Everything link in the description. Ciao.